Hi. Yo, what's going on? Uh, I'm Alex. This is Ian with me. We're going to be saying what we got out of John 4, 1 through 45. And starting out with our theme, we decided on our theme being that God sustains us. And we're going to start off with a couple of our outlines. I'll let Ian go first. So my outline is first Jesus leaves for the Galilean countryside. And after a long day of traveling and walking around, he asks the Samaritan lady for water. Jesus tells the Samaritan lady about the living water that will sustain her and never make her thirsty again. And she is troubled by this, but she says, well, give it to me. He tells her to go find her husband, but she has no husband. And then he then tells her about how she's been living an immoral life with multiple men that she sleeps with and how she's not walking the path of God. He then tells her about how the living life of God and how to get back on track. After that, his disciples come back and question why he's talking to a Samaritan. Historically, the Jews and the Samaritans had always been at odds with each other, and the Jews saw the Samaritans as kind of like a lesser people, and they weren't respected by the Jews. Jesus then tells her that he respects everyone, and even though she's a different race and believes different things, that God says she still needs to be saved. The disciples question why Jesus is not eating. He says he is sustained by God, mm -hmm. and doing good works for him will help him be not hungry. All right. And uh, I also wrote some outlines on that. Uh, mine are a little bit more specific um, about certain parts of the story. So, although the Samaritans were also looked down by Jews, Jesus is all forgiving and didn't let the Samaritan woman's status affect his perception of her as a person. This makes Jesus very integral, I think. Uh, no matter the type of person you once were, in her case being an outcast having five different husbands and a Samaritan, Jesus will always give you a chance at turning to the Lord and he will, get, he will guide you even if you believe you're too far gone from him. She didn't understand that Jesus was offering the gift of God to her, as in holy water that leads to eternal life. But no matter who you are, Jesus will give you a chance at redeeming yourself. Lastly, I would like to say that Jesus reflects kindness as he revealed to the woman that he is the Messiah. He knew she was desperate to have a true God and knew an outcast like herself needed something to believe in, so he revealed himself to her. He knows the poor would be rich in faith and that they would need it the most. Now we're going to be talking about the aims that we got out. I'll let Ian go first. So here's my aim. You will be accept accepted by God, even if you are a different race, religious belief, or anything at all. You will be accepted by him, and you are always welcome to come back, no matter what you've done or how, you've, how far you've strayed from the path of God. And my aim is that you need to show kindness to all people. If they had an unfavorable past, don't neglect them for it. Give them your respect and listen to them kindly. They may be willing to change their ways for the better, and that already makes them a more integral person to appreciate. All right, here's my illustration. Back in my past life, I used to not rely on God. I used to not go to church, and I used to far stray away from the path of God. In my life, I burned out and was not, and was not doing good things. But soon after that, I corrected my life, and started going to church, doing all the right things, listening to worship music. Now I rely on God, and I am being sustained by Him. Good Samaritan of the Lord. Yes. My illustration that I got was, um, when I was younger, I used to think that I would never become friends with certain people because of how different we were. I was immature and only wanted to be with people who were popular or considered cool. And uh, one day, I wisened up and realized that the kids I could never imagine myself being friends with turned out to be my best friends and that I've made grown up. I learned that my old ways of perceiving good people were foolish, just as Jesus showed all of the Samaritans can be great people as well. My application is, if you don't rely on God, you eventually run out of steam and give up. And like, if you're not reading the, God, if you're not reading the Bible and not putting good stuff in your tank, like fuel, you will eventually run out of steam and you will just give up in life and you'll burn out. Um, my application was um, asking, how can I open up to people that I'm not familiar with and show them the way to the Lord? Um, I said that first you should understand their position and how their life led to where they are and why they are the way they are. Understand their situation and what they stand for. 
be rational, calm, and listen to their stories, and then offer words of advice like how Jesus offered to the Samaritan woman with the food and water metaphor, such as that our bodies need to be sustained and our spirit being just as important. Every gesture counts, and you'll bring them one step closer to seeing the world in God's eyes. And lastly, what we learn about God, we learn that God is a God for all people, not just Jews, and that he wants everyone in his kingdom, no matter how toxic their lives might have been in the past. Yeah. Well, thanks for listening to us, guys. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Peace.